everybody, Jacob here. As promised, here is the unboxing of one of the 40 milliliter Dior babies, as I call them. Um, I'm super happy to have found this one. Finally, they're, they're starting to hit stores or authorized Dior retailers. Um, not available everywhere, and they're not available in every country, apparently, because a lot of you have been writing me that they're not to be found everywhere. But let's see what we got in the bag. Freebies. First freebie is Capture Total Multi Perfection Serum. As if we need this. We're forever young. But we're going to use it anyway. Thank you, Dior. Dior tissue paper. Should have Dior insignia all over it. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. Little tiny Dior's everywhere. There they are. They didn't perfume it, though. They were very stingy with samples. I have to say Chanel is much nicer with their sample giving than I am. And here is... The fragrance at hand, Belle de Jour. <laughs> this is, I mean, I'm surprised because of all of the um, Privé line, or how do they call them now? I don't even know if they're like, they're not called the Privé line anymore, the Dior Maison line, whatever they're called at the moment. Um, this is the worst name. By that, I don't mean I don't like it, but of the entire new series, this is the one I like the least. I thought it's, it was a pretty tacky name. And usually when a name is not the best, I kind of, um, I know this is bad to say, but then, you know, if, if I don't like the name of a fragrance, then in a way I kind of like already start uh, with a preconceived notion of the fragrance itself. I know this is horrible and you shouldn't be doing that. Like you should totally not judge a book by its cover. I'm the first one to always say it. But in fact, I was very pleasantly surprised because of all of the new ones that were released, this is the one that struck me the most. Now, mind you, I've tried... I've smelled all of them, and uh, I've, sp so basically how it works, I smell out of the bottle all of them, and then I chose five or six that I would spray in different parts uh, on my wrist, arm, or whatever, uh, body parts, and then 40 minutes to one hour later, I, I kind of went for this one. But I'm going to test all of them, but anyway, let's unbox it, or let's open the box. We're popping it open. So much material. This is it. It has a little spongy thing here. The name of the fragrance right there. Ooh. Gosh, it's all over the place. Let's put it there so we can make a little composition here. It's really not the easiest thing to do. Okay. Oh my gosh, it's so tiny. <laughs> I mean... Okay, let's put it... There. Oh my gosh, is this tiny? It's like so tiny. I mean, they're adorable. I do think they're overpriced though, because um, for those of you who did manage to grab the 15 milliliter sprays, not of these, but of the, uh, of another selection of five to six Privé line fragrances, which were Eau d'Ispahan, Patchouli Imperial, Bois d'Argent, um, Gris Montaigne, which uh, changed to Gris Dior, and uh, another few forgot. Those were per milliliter cheaper than this, but I guess <clears throat> you pay more. Well, you pay more for of course, you pay a lot for the name, but you pay more for this special packaging, for these boxes, for the round thick glass. And let's see if this is a magnet stopper. Yes, it is. And it's a very heavy one at that. We have the Christian Dior Insignia logo on the inside. There it is. And then you have the CD on the little sprayer there. At the bottom, there's nothing. The back of the sticker, just like with Chanel fragrances with the Les Exclusives range, 
and actually all of their perfumes as of late. The back of the sticker uh, bears uh, inscriptions. And this one in particular states 40 milliliter Eau de Parfum uh, made in France, Christian Dior perfumes and blah blah blah, what have you. All right, so let's spray it. Oh, wow. Okay, the atomizer is magnificent. Oh my gosh, the smell. You know, mm. okay, I have to say, when you first spray it, it doesn't, it's not, it's not very appealing immediately to me. Um, it smells better and better with time. So by that I want to say, so the lady that was super nice from Dior at the Dior counter explained to me that Francois de Machy doesn't want to say anymore which ingredients are in the perfumes. He just wants to explain an olfactory uh, trip or travel for every perfume. And so what he does is he kind of gives hints but doesn't say really what's in here. However, uh, what is listed as being inside of this fragrance are woodsy notes, rose, and peach. Now, until I didn't read online that there's peach in here, I did not smell the peach. I do smell the classic Dior Vanilla deep, deep down in there. It's really, really, I have it right here on my wrist right now. In this area. And, um, it took me really 40 minutes to get to appreciate this perfume but after 40 minutes it's divine and you just you can't get enough of it really it's that good um it's that exceptional and it's that special so belle de jour is a winner the second one that i'm also uh hunting down they did not have it i mean they did have it but they didn't unbox it yet and it was in a totally different storage unit so they couldn't get it and i got this one close really close to closing time so they're going to give me a call when the Ballade Sauvage or Sauvage Ballade or well, the Savage Ballad arrives. And it's very reminiscent of the Diptyque uh, Fig perfume. But I'm loving the way that uh, the fig smells in Savage Ballad. So that's probably going to be my second of the purchases. But Belle de Jour. Mm -mm -mm. Delicious. I, uh, I totally recommend it. But... Don't judge a book by its cover, meaning by the name, if you don't like this particular name. If you do like the name, great. Second non-judgment, don't judge a book by its opening pages. Uh, the opening in this one on my particular skin and with my chemistry doesn't really work. But this is a very rare situation, an instance where a fragrance after an hour, 40 minutes to an hour, totally flips on me totally changes and becomes just hypnotic. So I gotta go over that opening and then it hits kind of uh, heaven. Another interesting thing to point out is that uh, Francois de Machy said, or, or in general, the note that I got from the Dior sales lady is that Christian Dior perfumes, especially in, the, in this limited edition exclusives range, they do not use aldehydes, which is a very different situation you know if you encounter chanel perfumes they're all uh full of aldehydes there are no aldehydes in allegedly in the dior private range of, of fragrances so that's something uh interesting to note they do smell kind of quite natural i have to say in addition to the fact that they um also play with elegance in a different way than Guerlain would play, or Chanel would play, or for that matter, uh, Hermès or Louis Vuitton would play. I think Louis Vuitton fragrances are closer to Dior, like of those four top, top, you know, luxury brand fragrances from the houses of Dior, Hermès, uh, Chanel, and Louis Vuitton, I would say Louis and Dior are the closest. Uh, Hermès and Chanel are in a league of their own, they just you can't really compare them with others. So... But uh, Belle de Jour has something very light in it, and yet it lasts for hours and hours, and it reminds me of friendship, of warmth, safety, 
Uh, it makes me feel extremely comfortable and self-confident, but in a very positive way, not in an arrogant way. Again, after the 40 minutes have been reached of, of wearing it, and it, it just it makes you smile and it really gives you that strength of kind of just getting through the day. And that's how good it is. I'm, I'm really, 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 that's how good it is. And I will be repurchasing this one. Unless, as we know from Dior oh so well, they do not reformulate it quicker than they actually released the first version of it. So there you have it, guys. I hope you like this video. If you have, please do thumb it up. Ding, 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 ding. These are thumbs up. <laughs> there they are. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel here on YouTube. I'm also on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I'm also on Patreon. Uh, there are many videos that are only available to Patreon as well as photography fashion, perfume related, and many other topics as well. So if you wish to uh, pledge on Patreon and become a patron of Super Jacob and the Fashion Bunker, please head on over to Patreon. My name is Super Jacob, all spelled together. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you very soon. Love you. Don't you ever give up on love. Bye.